Hi, my name is Joey Novak. I wanted to show you quickly how to use the new um, export tool included in the SDK. The way you do this is first you need to install the SDK somewhere. It'll run on any Apache server that runs PHP 5. I have a local machine, uh, a local server set up with this virtual host, and I've installed the SDK there. To install it, all you have to do is extract it, and you're good to go. The next thing you're going to do is navigate to this index.html page and click on um, the set app info for tests. And once you click that, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this, where you put in your app host name. The app port will always be 443, and then you paste your app key here. Once you click submit query, it's going to show you this connectivity test results. It's going to check to make sure the host name is valid and that it can connect to the API without a key. And then it's going to test it with the API key. So using this, you can tell if you have your host name or the app key correct. Once you've done that, you can come back here and click on Exporter. And you can select what table you want to export. All the tables that are accessible via the data service query method are available here for export. So I'm just going to click Contact. Now part of our code um, for this export, it'll automatically fetch all the custom fields in your application and include them in the export. Um, so if you look here, I'll show you some of the code real quick. Here in the exporter file, right up here, we do this quick thing with our uh, our objects, and we say, "Hey, does this object have a custom field form ID?" And that's um, the fields are grouped. The custom fields are grouped in the database or through the API via a form ID. And there's each table or object that has custom fields has a different form ID. <clears throat> so if the object has, if the table has a custom field. Well, excuse me, has custom fields, then we're going to use this method to go get all the custom fields, and then we just use this add custom fields method to add all those custom fields to the object. And then whenever we come down here and do our query, it's going to get all the data, not just the standard set of fields. That's really it. Real quick, let's uh, let's go ahead and open up that export now that it's done. <clears throat> Open it up here with Open Office. Let's say everything looks good. Now the reason you don't see so much data is because it automatically sorts the fields by alpha and numeric order. So you'll see it starts with the address fields and how many people have data in address too. So we'll scroll over and you've got um, date created, email, all the usual things you need. So anyways, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or uh, post a comment on the code page. And I uh, hope you find this useful. Thanks. Bye.